Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of DVMS. Uh, today I'm going to explore about failure classification in DVMS. So what is meant by a failure? A failure in DVMS refers to an unexpected event that disrupts the normal functioning of the database, leading to data inconsistency, system crashes, or loss of transactions. So there are five types of failures, transaction failure, system failure, disk failure, media failure, and then catastrophic failure. Okay, so what is meant by a transaction failure? Transaction failure occurs when a transaction cannot be completed due to logical or system errors. And the logical errors are like the errors that occur when a transaction cannot be completed due to issues within the transaction itself, rather than external system failures. These errors do not do not affect the DBMS, but cause the transaction to abort or failure. So what can lead to logical errors, a constraint violation, invalid data format, division by zero, deadlock, insufficient resources, incorrect logic inquiry, and timeouts and user cancellations. So what is system error? This also comes under transaction failure. If a system encountered an undesirable state, deadlock as a result of which the transaction cannot continue with its normal execution. For example, is concurrency control errors, buffer overflow errors, file corruption, and so on. So when there is a transaction failure, the transaction, however, can re-execute at a later time. So this is transaction failure. The next classification is system failure. So the database system crashes due to software or hardware issues. Example like power failures, operating system crashes, memory failures, hardware malfunctions like CPU failure. All these come under the system failure. So transaction logs remain. So for, to recover from the system failure, like the transaction log remain, but volatile data in the RAM is lost. So what happens is like the transaction logs are written on persistent storage, like HDD and SSDs and or separate log servers. So they are like write ahead logs, so which remain because they are on the persistent storage. So from that the recovery can happen. So system failure are like uh, the entire DBMS crashes, whereas system error is like only some transactions are uh, cannot be executed while other transactions will execute. So system failure is considered to be a very uh, deep um, failure, whereas system error is considered to be shallow failure. And next, coming to the disk failure, so physical damage to the storage devices leading to data loss. Um, so causes of the disk failure are the disk head crashes or the bad sectors on the disk and the RAID failures. So all these will be causing the disk failures. So the next kind of failure is the media failure. So the media failure is damage to the physical media, which is magnetic disks and SSDs and so on. So the solution to the media failure is backup and replication strategies. So disk failure is because of the physical issue, but the media failure is because like the files get corrupted and it is a logical issue. So that's the difference between the disk failure and the media failure. Media uh, catastrophic failures. Catastrophic failures are like uh, they occur due to fires, floods, and natural disasters like tsunami and so on. So large scale failures affecting multiple systems. So the recovery will happen from the data replication servers. So generally the data replication is like three servers will be there across the globe. Uh, so when one server is uh, damaged or failed because of some natural disasters, another server will take over. Okay, so the like that we recover from the catastrophic failures. So here is a uh, list of uh, failure type and the definition and the causes and the recovery methods. So to give you a summary, so, uh, these are all the failure classifications and the causes and the recovery methods. Um, so one of the recovery methods that uh, DBMS uses is ARIS algorithm. In my next video, I'll discuss about the ARIS algorithm. 